everyone welcome to the channel i hope you're having a great day and today i'm gonna show you how i made this pokemon named ticklet first i want to tell you that in this video i didn't do a voiceover like i used to do so i just talked during i recorded so there will be, there will be some pause and influence during the video so i apologize for that in advance now let's get started First, we're gonna start with <clears throat> doing 16 crochet into a circle. You can do it any way you want. This is my way. I do one, one chain and two chain. So after making two chain, we do six single crochet into the first chain to form a circle. You can do the magic ring if you like. Either way that you finish your first round with six single crochet in a circle shape. And one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, five single crochet, and six single crochet. Pull the yarn to close the hole and here and then we do slip stitch on the first single crochet that we done earlier so if you is this stitch if you're not sure where it is you can count back so this this is the one two three four five six so we do slip stitch on this first single crochet of the first round after that we one chain to start the round <coughs> then we do on round two we do increase so two single crochet into each stitch and we count the first single crochet that we do slip stitch early as the first stitch so we do one single crochet and two single crochet into the same stitch and so on one two into the same stitch this and the third stitch the so one and two on the stitch and one and one and two and the last one one two and we close the round with slip stitch at the first stitch of the second round so we, you should have 12 12 stitch at the moment and as always start around with one chain and next we're gonna do one single crochet and then increase so one two for increase and repeat this until we meet the start point again so one single crochet into the next stitch and then two single crochet into the same stitch one two to the same stitch so one single crochet and increase one single crochet and increase one increase oops and one and increase now we should finish now this round should have 18 stitch so if you count back you're gonna have 18 and then we slip stitch on the first stitch of this round to close the round slip stitch and one chain to start the next round 
so the next round we will do one single crochet two single crochet and then increase and repeat it one single crochet two single crochet and two single crochet into the same stitch and make sure you wind up loosen your yarn before you come before you do that okay increase and one two increase one two increase one two and increase one and two and then increase and that and now we should have 24 stitch all around and if you can see a trend here so we start with increase and then one 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 single crochet then increase and then two single crochet and increase if you want the circle to go bigger and bigger you can do three two four five six and then increase respectively and so I'm gonna make a small doll today this but if you want to do to do it bigger you can do uh, three single crochet and increase you know and increase until you get the, the circle of the size that you want and then start doing all single crochet all around so I'm gonna I'm okay with this size so I'm gonna start the next round with one single crochet into each stitch so 24 single crochet all around so one two three four five six seven oops, eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen what else eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three and twenty four and close the round with slip stitch and one single crochet and repeat it for four or five round so, uh, one single crochet into each stitch and I'll talk to you again after I finish all, the, all of this one single crochet for each stitch when when we do one single crochet into each stitch you you kind of make a long cylinder shape going down so you can continue as long as you want your doll to be and yeah I'll talk to you again after I finish uh, longing my diglet
suka main ke sini. Now we've finished round 12. You can make it, uh, you can make him longer if you want, but I think I will finish with round 12. And then I'm gonna change the color to gray to make like a pebble around the edges. And changing the color so make it look seamless I'm gonna start at the last the last stitch okay so before we finish the last stitch like this as usual uh, instead of hooking this brown yarn I'm gonna hook a new the new color which I use the gray yarn here and we hook the gray yarn here and then do the slip stitch as usual and one chain and then we can continue crochet normally so you don't have the if you don't do this you will get the brown up here and you see it 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 doesn't look pretty so I prefer this way and if you afraid that this this tail won't be secure enough you can tie it up make a knot so now everything is secure inside his body and make a knot here and cut cut off the brown yarn and cut off the brown yarn since we don't use it anymore then we're gonna do so next we're gonna make a pebble a pebbles like a small rock around the, the base and I think I think I'm not sure I'll check it again and put it pop up on the screen I think it's a popcorn stitch or something like that that you make kind of like a popcorn like it's popping out so I'll I would do we already do one chain here right and double crochet yep yeah. yeah like double crochet three together like like this and normally if you finish double crochet you hook it through here but no nope, we're, we're gonna do continue so we're gonna do three double crochet together in one stitch and three in one stitch and then you're gonna have four four loop on the hook and then you hook all through this and then do the slip stitch on the same stitch that you do all the three double crochet and slip stitch and then it, use your finger to put the back to push all the yarn to the front and be careful you can have if you oops if you're not be careful you can have a loose yarn like this so I'm gonna do it again and make sure I don't have it so one single crochet and two single crochet I think we should start with two single crochet and three double crochet into the same no three double crochet together on the same stitch one two and th three and then you hook it all through and use your back finger push push it to the front kind of fold it to the back and then you do the slip stitch on the same on the same stitch that you do all three double crochet and slip stitch 
and use your finger to put your all and you get like a little pebble poking out like this if you don't if you find this way hard for you you can make like a small you know a small half circle from this like from the top and then sewing them separately but I find that this too much work and then we finish the first one the next stitch we uh, the next one we will do one little cr no 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 the next one after we slip stitch on the same on the first stitch the next one will be one single crochet on the second stitch one single crochet and then you do one chain and three the three double crochet together again on the next stitch so one two three and then you pull it all through and then slip stitch in the same at the same place at the same place that you do all of this pebble and slip stitch and then single crochet into the next stitch and one chain and don't forget to put all the yarn outside so you get a little pebble poking out and we do this all around until we meet this point again and next three double crochet together and the next stitch like SC sing no it's the double crochet three together yeah on the same stitch one and two double crochet and three double crochet hook it through slip stitch and single crochet into the next stitch one change put it all out put it and repeat it double crochet three together on the same stitch out and then slip stitch on the same place then single crochet into the next stitch one change double crochet three together on the same on the next stitch one two and three slip stitch single crochet one chain there you go this double crochet three to Together into the next stitch one two and three and hook it all throughout and slip stitch into the same place single crochet into the next stitch one chain Double crochet three together into the next stitch. A bit true. And slip stitch into the same place. Single crochet into the next stitch. 
one chain double crochet three together one two two and three together and slip stitch one single crochet one chain double crochet three together just repeat it until we cover all the base with these small gray pebbles pebbles is that pebble or pebbles a small rock single crochet into the next stitch did I do the slip stitch yet one single crochet one chain and you see three together double crochet and three and together and slip stitch slip stitch and single neck single crochet into the next stitch one chain and double crochet three together three and together and then slip stitch at the same place then single crochet one chain And three single crochet, no, three double crochet together, together, slip stitch, and single crochet into the next stitch. So we finished the round with single crochet, and to cross the round, we slip stitch into the okay, it's gonna be really hard to see here. I believe you can do it you can find it like if you pull it a little bit so you, you see the single crochet here and this is going to be the slip stitch that we done so this is the stitch so we're gonna slip stitch here at the top of this pebble pebble and slip stitch to cross the round one change to wait for the next round and kind of push all the yarn and I have the pebbles pebbles small rocks on the base of this uh, what is his name again Diglett like I I grew up with the Japanese name Pokemon so we call it like a dig duck but since since this is English video, so I'm gonna call him with an English name, a diglet. And it kind of looked like a flower, <laughs> to be honest. And next, we what are we gonna do here? Oh yeah, you can finish him as as this. You know, just like put it on the desk or just a decoration if you're too lazy to close the base. But since this is a tutorial we use, I have to close this for you guys. And um, yeah, let's close the base. We already done one single, uh, one chain, and next we're gonna close the base. What am I gonna do with the base? Okay, let's do one single crochet each stitch but not not every stitch so one single crochet how many pep how many rock do we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve from 24 to 12 
Mm. Okay, so we're gonna do one single crochet into the same stitch that we done the slip stitch earlier. So one single crochet here and the next single crochet will be on the single crochet that we do here. So it will kind and one single crochet. Make sure you crochet it tight enough that you don't leave any gap between it. And the one, two and three. Three single crochet. Skip you can see the small chain here, right? That we do like one chain before we start the three the three double crochet here. So we're gonna skip this and one single crochet over the top of the pebble. Pebble, pebble. The rocks. Okay. One single crochet. So this is the one, two, three. And the four one will be on the single crochet that we done earlier. And we do this conti continuously all around. So four and skip this and five and on the small one here and six and seven. the single crochet for the eighth one and skip the chain and nine and skip a small chain of slip stitch here and on the single crochet for the ten so make sure you don't leave any gap and now the rock will be pushing out beautifully how many? 10, okay. And skip this and 11. And on the small, your small single crochet, 11 and 12. Thirteen. Fourteen Fifteen And sixteen Seventeen Eighteen Nineteen Twenty Twenty one Twenty two Twenty three and the last one the twin of oh, the twenty four one on the single crochet here. Twenty four and slip stitch at the first single crochet of the round one change and now we got a proper circle here so we can increase to close it easier and also the, the rock is pushing out can see it pushing out like this okay and next we gonna do uh, is two single crochet so the first one will be on the same stitch that we do slip stitch earlier one two and decrease or two single crochet together so 
so tight. So decrease one, <clears throat> two, and together. So you're gonna do one single crochet, two single crochet, and decrease. If you find yourself that you tend to make a hole during decrease, you can check out the invisible decrease stitch. There's many people doing that, doing a tutorial on that. But I prefer the the old way of increase of decrease. So I'm gonna stick with it. And one, two single crochet, and then decrease. So one and two together. And one, two single crochet and decrease. stitch to close the round slip stitch one chain and here before we continue the next round we, we should stuff this guy up with some fibers stuff oh take over this flip Stuffing the doll is one of the most important part. Sometimes I saw people complain about the pattern that is not working. But sometimes it's just that you stuff it, stuff the fiber wrong. Like you know, you not spread it throughout properly and it can affect the shape. Like if you put it too much on this side, it can be bent to this. If you push it too much on, like not equally, it can turn into a weird shape. So, I'm not sure if you have it in your country or not, but in my country they have uh, like a fiber, a fiber like this, but they come into a small, like a small balls of fibers together, and then. They tend to be spread it out properly, but it's quite expensive for me, so I cannot afford that. So I just use a normal polyester fibers. But this is the the like a high quality. Like they have the grade A, B, C, D, and I remember I bought a grade B before, and it's so tough and it's not spread evenly. So I invest on the fibers so this is the highest quality that i can get they have the premium one but that's too high the, that the one that with the small balls together that i mentioned earlier that is too expensive for me so kind of stuff it evenly and be generous be generous with the fibers sometimes people just put it a li little bit and you know just enough for them to hold the shape and when the time pass by it will get like soggy well probably was that it will look bad <laughs> your doll will look will get like in a bad shape when the time pass if you don't be generous with your fibers i just put it all in size here and it should be quite tight. Okay, we're gonna continue on the next round. Kind of look like a 
sun now I have an idea you can make a circle you know like a yellow circle and make this into a sun <laughs> or a flowers okay let's close this door let's finish it and the next round we will decrease more so one single crochet here one single crochet and then decrease one single crochet and then decrease so beginners when i was a beginner i tend to lose losing like here like this losing the yarn like this when i do decrease and it will make a hole like a visible hole when you do it and because when you stop the door it make it harder to crochet so make sure that all all the stitch is tight like this at the base before you decrease and what is one single crochet and decrease let's do like a little hole like this and it's acceptable for me but if you don't make decrease tight enough it will be a lot bigger than this so keep that in mind one single crochet and decrease one single crochet and decrease one single crochet and decrease and we close the round with slip stitch here One chain. So last round is decrease. All decrease all around. So one decrease and two decrease. And try not to hook all the fibers and decrease. More on decrease. And the last one of decrease. And slip stitch here. And you finish with a small hole like this. If you don't like it, you can do like one more decrease, like. You know like a, when you do a spiral when you crochet in spiral and they would tend to cover this hole up a little bit but I um, don't like it. it it doesn't look smooth when I saw the hole so I'm gonna leave some length of yarn and use this to sewing the hole close and that will look a lot more neat like more neater neater like this look more beautiful so pick up a sewing needle where is it and when you when you work with amigurumi you have to choose the proper size of yarn needles like this is the big one that not suitable for this size of the yarn even though it's slip and easy but it's too big and it's not gonna make your doll look good so you should use the smaller one which is a little bit harder to put the yarn in size but it will work
then you kind of sewing the whole close what I like to do is can you see it on the camera what I like to do is to like pick up the insides the insides of the stitch you can see that that stitch here right and just insert it on the uh, what is it called back loop yeah the back loop of the stitch and my camera stand I just knocked at my camera stand okay so what else I just put it on the back loop of of the stitch and just sewing it normally and at the back loop again and they just close it magically here now we don't have a hole anymore and if you have anywhere like a big visible hole you can also use the yarn that we left to kind of like cover it by running it past to the hole so you use that as uh, we can use the, this to cover the visible hole something like that and how to secure the yarn and you can see what I normally do I just run the yarn if I want it to be extra secure so I just run the yarn all a little bit on the surface like this if you have the same color and just put it in size just put it in size anywhere and you know a couple of time you do and I can throw this doll into a watching machine and no part nothing will fall apart nothing will fall apart so if you buy a crochet doll outside and you know when you watch it or when the time pass by the other part falling apart probably it because they didn't see you did no, not see you. they didn't sewing with the yarn they didn't use the sewing technique to sewing the piece together they maybe use a glue probably using a glue so that because it's faster and it's easier when you're using a glue and but when the time passes all the pieces are falling apart so I rather spend my time sewing everything and make sure this that my doll lasts so long and I like you can see I putting a little bit on the base here so that he can stand properly on the floor and then we're gonna do his face and now after the after I see I think he should be a little bit taller but it's okay he can be a baby diglet yeah I think one one more round of the brown yarn is better it's better with one more or or you can just squeeze him squeeze him to be kind of stretching a little bit okay he looks stretch <laughs> he look better in no time and next we're gonna do his face yeah we're gonna do his big pink nose so grab the pink yarn so I don't I don't think in in anime that his nose will be I don't think his nose will be this pink but I just have this pink on hand so ichiki so gonna do three chain one chain two chain and Three chain, three chain, and then 
single crochet into the second chain from hook one single crochet and three single crochet on this stitch one two and three and then we will do two single crochet into the next stitch one two and slip stitch on the first chain of the round finished our first round of the his notes let's see yes i think this olive i think only this is good yeah this is enough and leave some length of yarn for sewing cut it and fasten off we have a thicklet nose here and now we're gonna sewing the nose Here I use a cotton thread like that normally use for crochet a shirt or a skirt here for embroidery the uh, his eye eyes so, why I the reason that I use this kind of thread to embroidery the his eyes because is thicker it's thicker than normal thread and it's faster <laughs> when you do the embroidery with it so if you use you can use normal thread to do I just prefer this kind of thread so it's faster and it's easier to handling the shape since I'm not an expert in embroidery and his eye should be like around here and around here the problem with the have there's a lot of fiber coming out here you can just use your hook to like scoop it all inside again
his first eye. Like I say, I'm not exp I'm not good with embroidery, so I just fill the place with black thread. Or you can use a plastic eye. Yes, I should consider using a plastic eye instead of the embroidery. It's so hard right now. The glad is done. Try to find the light. Squeeze it. Now he's done. Uh, let face the light here and a small block around and I think he's a perfect size for a keychain so you, you can add uh, you can add a keychain at the top so he's a perfect size and thank you so much for watching please click like and if you still don't subscribe please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss any new videos from me from me and yeah hope you like it and see you again next time bye